It was 77 pages of analysis and witness accounts detailing what a state house panel showed to be several layers of failures both before and during the mass shooting in Uvalde. That preliminary report continues to make shockwaves across the state and the nation. Today, Governor Greg Abbott issued a statement about the report. He said, quote, the findings in their investigative report are beyond disturbing and raise serious concerns about the response that day. There are critical changes needed as a result of the Texas House's findings, unquote. The governor went on to say that the state is taking action to support the community of Uvalde. He mentioned things like providing funds for mental health resources and conducting school safety reviews in other districts to prevent this from happening again. Well, that report released yesterday also points out missed warning signs ahead of the tragic shooting. The gunman's behavior even earned him the nickname school shooter. Ashley French joins us now here in the studio. And Ashley, it appears those warnings did not get flagged for law enforcement. Yes, that's right, David. And David, we're, we're all hurt the face. If you see something, say something. But who do you say something to? I spoke to a local counselor and law enforcement about how to report suspicious behavior. As a new school year approaches, safety is the top of mind for parents and educators alike. In the wake of Uvalde, the phrase, if you see something, say something, seems more important than ever before. Letting kids know that trusting an adult is okay is one of the priorities I think that we all should learn from K through 12, that the, the adults that are there for our safety. But that conversation doesn't always come easy. Marcus Wade, a chemical dependency counselor, says there are many reasons why kids may feel hesitant. Those who may be in opposition of it or those who may not care, if you will, if a person's voice has been heard, that you should be stifled or shut down. Add peer pressure and you can see how red flags go unreported. I think there's a lot of peer pressure that goes on in today's society. I think a lot of kids deal with cyberbullying. They deal with issues that come from social media. They don't want to be that person to have to go out and talk to uh, a counselor or a principal or police officer. Marcus says it's important for counselors and parents to instill an environment of trust and honesty. I don't push them to be obligated to it, you know, but when they find a connection and that they see that like, I care and I'll listen, I'm empathetic with the situation and what they're bringing to the table and we'll talk through it over a period at a time, we'll come with some solutions. The East, excuse me, the, the Texas Department of Public Safety is reminding folks to report suspicious activity through local law enforcement or through our I Watch Texas program. It's a system that captures and connects potential criminal or terroristic or school safety threats related, or excuse me, any threats related here in the state. David.